Hello, welcome back to a, another episode of It's Drawing. This is uh, kind of different. Um, it's been a year since the last one, and we're going to start by just doing some introduction stuff, some rundown. Um, yeah, if you didn't know what this series was, it was basically me. I wanted to learn to draw. Um, if you didn't know, I you can look back to episode one for the full story, probably I explained it there better. Um, but I've always wanted to learn to draw, and I've never been very good. So I sort of started this series up with a friend of mine. Um, who knew who actually studied art he has uh, he's really talented um in hopes that it would motivate me more it would make me practice it lasted like three episodes before life kind of got in the way um alex is not with me today um or maybe for the next so many life's got in the way it's been a year since the last one um stuff has changed stuff has happened that we cannot well yeah stuff's happened basically um I haven't done any drawing since, um, so it's going to be interesting. I did some, some last night and it's kind of what made me want to get back into this. I thought randomly just say oh, I'll do some drawing. Um, and then yeah, now I'm back into it. Well, I, I want to try to. Um, and so I'm going to use my own method. What I've got here is I'm going to just basically try and do my own sort of thing. I've got a website, it's called Sketch Daily, where you get a bunch of pictures of people um, or animals or what sorts of stuff and you try and try and draw it to the best of your ability basically you give yourself a time mode five minute ten minute whatever um it's a very useful website and I've, i did some last night and i did some actually about this time last year as well um actually the last time i did a drawing was this time last year exactly today the 22nd of october you may be seeing it some other time but it's 22nd of october so i'm probably very bad very out of practice um Yeah, so I'm going to learn a bunch of bad habits, not going to learn any proper method or any go through any person that knows what they're doing about. I'm going to do my things my own way, which is, I think, the way that works best for me, trying to figure out my own way. And then from there, learning how to improve. I don't need other methods to teach me. I think my method, but that's just how I sort of learn best. I think just kind of do it my own way. If that, if you understand any of that, good. Check out the other episodes. Um, yeah, just check out the other episodes. So sketch daily how this works. Um, you pick your settings, we're going to go for all. We're going to have to make sure they are clothed and we don't want non safe work images. We're going to go for all poses. We're going to go for any view and we're going to give ourselves five minutes. Um, all body, you've got body parts, animal structures, vegetation, or your pictures if you want to try your own pictures. But we are going to just create a new um, thing. I'm using Clip Studio Paint this time. I've actually owned it before, but I never really understood how to use it. And then I sort of taught myself, I think probably this time last year, sort of how it works a bit better. Um, hopefully I can't really see... Oh, that's a weird stabilizer. Uh, yeah, we'll see how we go. Um... Hopefully we get an image that I don't need to, to instantly refresh. We're going to probably do two because they're five minutes each, so ten minutes. We'll see how we do to the best of our ability. Um, so we're starting off with something nice and simple. You can see it in the top right corner. Um, yeah, I guess I don't, I don't really know where to start. Um, I always kind of start from when I did this bit yesterday. I guess with kind of like the head, I feel like. And then kind of from there, work out there's like the collar. I know you're supposed to do like shapes and stuff. Maybe I should try it with like shapes. Simple primitive shapes. Um, but I'm not sure. I've run thing that really gets me confusing is all the clothes. Like there's so much fabric and stuff that it's like there's a lot of overlapping parts that just don't really work for me. Um, probably because I'm very inexperienced. But I, and I just never know what to kind of go for. Like here's a here's apparently the I mean, I guess, yeah, if I just do primitive shapes, I guess. Okay, I, I'm disobeying my own my own laws of, uh, my own rules in the West. Whatever, there's a foot. Sure. Uh, like, like, because of the clothes, like, you can't really see where his legs begin and end. That makes sense. But there's a sword here. Uh, if I say here. Here, going across for him. And like that, and I guess I kind of want to do the primitive shape of that. And then his arm. There's a hand, so I guess I'll have a hand, I'll just do that um, for now. And then it's kind of like that. I mean, I guess this is, oh, wrong button. Move my keyboard a bit closer. I wanted to press E for a racer tool. And I guess like, this is his arm. 
kind of cuts in. Um, definitely the head is a bit terrible. The neck. I mean, the body shape actually kind of got kind of improved. I'd say now that the legs are in. Um, I think I'd like to say. I guess. I mean, has, he has a hand hands on his hips here, and then he's sort of like that, and then it's kind of like that. But then there's a, this gap. I'm really bad at um, what do they call it? Foreshortening? Is that is that how it works? I don't know. Like um length and stuff like depth and sizes of things being closer and further um, I guess that's a rough body shape for now I'm gonna create a new layer I might try to just do some clothes because I feel like I'm gonna leave the head well maybe I should leave the head because it kind of kind of sucks that I don't move out the head um I feel like the clothes are so baggy that it, it hides a lot of the obscure arms <laughs> That I'm that I'm drawing. He's also got like this. What do they call this? I don't know what they call it. Like a weird thing. I don't know what it is. It's not that big though, but it, it's well, well, it'll last. His pants are very baggy and whatnot. Um, he's also got a coat on, which also goes around his arms. This is not my best. Not my best. There's only two minutes left though, but I got two minutes to improve it. Um. Yeah, it's kind of weird, because if you've seen the other episodes, you know kind of my style is more anime-ish. Like, I, that's the style I, I want to go for. Um, but I think there's definitely benefits to doing humans, in the sense. Because like, even though I'm saying I'm going for this anime art style... Oh my god, his shoes are massive. Um, it's definitely beneficial to get the positions, because one thing I'm really bad at is posing. Um... Oh, that's a good shoe. That kind of look pose looks good. Like at the bottom, if you if you ignore the top half. Um, disclaimer: I'm terrible at drawing. Couldn't tell. Um, but we're learning together. Hopefully, if I keep doing this series on my own, um, you might find oh, I didn't mean to do it in the same layer. That I may improve. You may see me. You get to see me kind of improve um, as we go along. I'll remove a bunch of the other stuff. The messy lines. Um, the, 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 kind of, you kind of see the pose, you kind of, you agree, you agree, 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 no, you're not agreeing, um, how long have I got, 30 seconds, perfect, and then I'll pause the timer when the time's up, can I do, I mean, I want to do the head, I feel like I should do the head, but I guess I'll do the sword, nice, I, oh, that's the sword. 20 seconds. Let's quickly try a head. No head. Um, let's zoom in a bit. But yeah, I don't know. I don't really know. I feel like the best way I learn is... Oh, that's a tiny head. Is through kind of rough speed drawing, if that makes sense. And I'll just do the hat. Uh, yeah, I don't want to look at the next one. Oh, fuck. I've just seen the next one. I'm not going to be able to do that. Uh, <clears throat> it's interesting. We'll go back to how to compare. Um, yeah, I mean, you can kind of see where I was coming from with, with it. I think my pose is definitely very, very not as dynamic as his. Um, I'm not very good with my top hand, my left, his his right hand. Um, but I think there's definitely some, there's room for improvement, of course, but I definitely don't wouldn't say it was like, if you were to put them side by side, you would tell that that's that. Yeah, it's, if you look in the, you can't really see how I can kind of move this. My preview image in the top right, if you can kind of see it, actually looks <laughs> looks like it. Like it's it's rough. I like this kind of rough style. Okay, another five minute one. Let's create a new one. Let's create a layer. Okay, five minutes are going. Uh, where do you begin with something like this? That's what I really don't know. I think maybe I, I generally do have to do the body shape like it's sort of like and a big like that, isn't it? But that's the body. There's a knee right here that brings the leg down into the foot. And the other knee is like here, touching the foot. And the leg and a downwards the shoe. 
Kinda, maybe. But the foot, I don't know. This knee, I definitely don't like this knee. Let's try the arms. So there's an arm going across. Nope, pressed the wrong button again. Cross and then like. And the hand is sort of here-ish. Then the other hand, oh, I didn't even look at the other hand, is more up here. Coming down. Round. Interesting. Okay. I think there's there's definitely something going here. Something something cooking. Let's just do a new layer for the head. Um I'm terrible at heads. I'm really bad at proportions, I think, for heads. Especially when it comes to the, the hair on the head. Um like this. He's got something covering his face. Okay, let's say that's the head. It's a bit small compared to his body. I think the whole body, the lower half of the body is is a bit low. And that's the problem. Let's just smudge this up a bit. Make it a bit bigger as well. See, this is why you do digital art. None of this painting, pencil, rubbish. Um, okay, let's do the stick, actually. And then we'll kind of get to the details, maybe, of his clothes. I feel like this isn't bad. It's turning it... But then... Oh, I say it's a stick. It's a... I don't know what you'd call this. It's actually... It's, it's actually a... Oh, 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 I see. I see my issue. This stick goes lower than him. And it's in the ground, so let's do this. So it's like he's. No, I can't make. I made the stick thicker, you know. Could use like a square tool or straight line tool to draw the straight lines. But, um. Nah. Um, halfway done, halfway done. Let's try to do some details on him. Um, so this arm, let's try and get rid of some of these lines that are kind of in the way of like his arm will be hiding that. Um, his knee, oh, the knee. This is kind of hiding that. And then he's got like a kilt on. Okay, hang on. Let's go back to is this is this the this is the new layer, okay. Uh, goes around and then goes up over his face. Down his back. Then cuts across here. Like that. Also goes down to like here and then up oh if that's the knee that's quite high up that knee actually I feel like the knee should be more here like there it's the one with the knee yeah kind kinda I think I think it needs to be bigger much bigger and this needs to be no this maybe just needs to be smaller maybe this is the wrong issue i think the knee needs to be bigger is this the layer with the knee that means i need to change the layer with or i need to change a few things then how long have i got 30 seconds It's, it's actually kind of impossible to tell what this is. Yeah, looking at... Oh, I just punched my mic. Looking at it, it's so impossible to tell what it is. I mean, I guess I could... You could say like that's... Because that's the leg connecting there. So the shadows are whatever, like here and stuff. So you would see it. This leg needs to be straighter down. Um, I guess we'll go through in red and kind of compare. Um, we're not going to do the next one. So we'll just pause that and then go back. Um, I want to do that for this one as well. Let's go back to this illustration and get like a red marker out and kind of see maybe what I kind of could have done better. Go for like a... Oh, uh, yeah, sure. Oops. Oh, a red. Nice red. Oh. I didn't hate this one. I mean, obviously, I think this arm... Maybe it needs to be more sharper. It's a lot easier. If I could copy paste this on, I might. Can I copy paste? I can probably. I can kind of overlap it. Um. Let me 
me paste. Oh, it does, but it's massive. Fucking massive. Ah, oh, and it does. It's the old classic. It's out of the thing, so it doesn't doesn't sit on the thing. It's out the thing, so it doesn't sit on the thing. It's my my words. There you go. And we'll kind of transparent it. I mean, mine. I don't hate mine in comparison. If I kind of line it up slightly, you can definitely see what I was going for and how actually it kind of fits. Like, my leg is wrong. This leg's pretty good. This leg's kind of good. Uh, it should be a bit more inwards. The, f the thinness of the leg compared to the... the what do you want to call it? Um, clothes, I didn't really get. Or the boot, I guess that is. This leg, yeah, is just completely out of, uh, off. He says the boot, and then... There's the clothes. Um, too thin, too thick, should I say. But then I guess that's just me lining it up. The arm... Oh, the shoulders of his coat are a lot wider, aren't they? I kind of lined up the shoulders slightly as best as I could as my point of reference. Same with the head. Um... This arm actually was better than I thought. It just needs to be slightly inwards. Same with this arm. And then it should stop there. Because you can't really tell. I mean, you've got like moving lines and stuff. Um, but this is where the clothes are. There's a little triangle here of air. Interesting. I mean, it's a different, it's kind of got the, the same, same vibe to it, I would say. I would argue. This one can be a complete disaster. It's calling it now. This one was very tricky. Very dynamic. I wish I was better at dynamic poses than I than um than I am. So if I try and angle line it up with say the head oh my god, mine was way off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I my angle on my body was way off. Wow. I mean, looking at it now, yeah, it makes sense. It makes sense. It makes sense. Uh, brush. I mean, I got if my, if my head is here, then my body needed to go way around here instead of down here. Interesting. 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 <clears throat> I think it's good to look at this. I've heard like to analyze what you went wrong. The arm goes around here his shoulder is like here the other arm yeah it's all the way down the knee I feel like this was a really hard knee to draw I don't know maybe I'm just really maybe I mean I am bad maybe I am just really bad I am bad and this knee because I was trying to use the points of the knee as, as a reference I don't know how well it worked but I guess oops I just clicked a button on my pen. I mean, yeah, I mean, it's... When you do it like that, even then, you need the, you really need the detail on this one to be able to tell kind of what it is. If you just do the outline alone, you really struggle. i just be like, what the hell is this? Because his clothes are so complicated. But then I'm just giving excuses for myself. Which is what everyone does ever. It's not just artists. I'll tell you what. No one in this world is a bigger crybaby than an artist. No offense if you take that as offensive. But like, come on. If you took that as offensive, then clearly you, you know deep down something, something ain't right. I mean, that's no, it's still pretty hard to tell what it is. It looks kind of like Nightmare Before Christmas. Like Boogie Oogie Boogie, whatever his name is. I don't know. Anyway, what was the next one going to be? Ah, uh, yeah, more annoying clothes. Anyway, thank you for watching. Um, yeah, hopefully I'll try and come back with this series more regularly. I'll try to. I don't know if that'll be possible. Um, but I'll keep trying to practice drawing on my own time as well. Um, so thank you everyone for watching. Like, comment, share, subscribe. And all that. Nothing more from my... Blah, 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 blah. Nothing more from me. Um... Yeah, I'm going to keep doing my own method. I don't need to hear any other method in the comments saying you should do this, do this, do this. 
um, I'm not going to listen and do it because I am actually very, yeah, that's one thing I forgot to mention. Timing is the biggest issue. I do not possess enough time to be able to sit down and practice hours a day. So that's why something like this kind of gets me better. Um, it's a lot better for me just kind of do it at my own pace and I'll try and record as much drawing as I can. Um, but thank you for watching. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Goodbye.